It's really important to consider the conditions that the route needs to be in to be able to climb it. And essentially, you can divide them into two. So they're either routes that can be done in rocky conditions, which are when they're free of snow, or they're routes that need to be done under snowy conditions. There are some routes that need part of the route to be snowy and part of the route to be clear of snow and rocky. And those are maybe the trickiest to find and get into condition. But when you're looking at the different route descriptions, first of all, work out which one it's going to fall into. Then consider the time of year you're going to be going. So if you're going earlier season or very late season, there's more likely to be snow about. If you're planning on going out to the Alps to do a snowy route, then it would be a really good idea to get up to Scotland in the winter beforehand and get your crampons on and get the skills that you need on the snow. If you're planning to do a rocky route, then you can get out and do some great scrambling that we have here in the UK and perfect your uh, rope skills and your movement over rock. Consider what altitude your route's going to go to. You'll probably need to acclimatise beforehand for many routes in the Alps. So you'll need to do some routes at around 3,000 metres before you then go to routes that are closer to 4,000 metres and above. Although it can be really tempting to go straight on to your main objective up to 4,000 metres, especially if the conditions are good when you arrive, it's not a great idea. You're often moving too slow if you're unacclimatised and uh, you won't have an enjoyable time. Plus, it can really affect your judgment that can have safety consequences in the mountains. When you're choosing objectives for your routes in the Alps, think about being progressive and building a foundation of skills and experience that work towards any ultimate goals that you have. To find out whether your route is in condition or not, a few sources of information can help. So first of all, understanding the conditions, you can look at the guidebook and what conditions it should be climbed in. Next, you can use uh, more up-to-date information, such as that in the guides offices. Also, the hut guardians can give you information. And then there's online forums and conditions pages, such as the UKC conditions page.